What's going on everyone and welcome to Laptop Empires, the show that teaches digital marketers how to build and grow their businesses from anywhere in the world. I'm Brian Downward, your host, and today we're going to be talking all about how you can build a personal brand and stand out from all of the other marketers online. Now, this is a really important topic and I've preached on this a lot, but there are so many more marketers and people coming online who claim to be advertisers and who can claim to get all these crazy results. And really what they're doing is they're just diving into this ocean full of other people who are just like them. And what you want to do is stand out so when clients, prospects, influencers, people, whoever are coming across your brand or looking at you, they say, uh, wow, this person actually knows what they're doing because you actually look like it and you stand out. Sound good? Now before we dive in, I want to remind you that this show is brought to you by the Laptop Empire Lab, my premium community for digital marketers connecting around the world. Uh, has a number of incredible resources and trainings and a lot more that I think you're really going to love. But let's get into today's topic. So personal branding. The first thing that you need to do if you want to develop a personal brand is start a blog. Now. A blog doesn't necessarily have to be written words. If you go look at my blog, I've got infographics, case studies, long form blog posts, checklists, and a lot of things in between. Now, you can even do something like this. You can do a YouTube show or you can do a podcast as long as you're creating content that not only establishes yourself as the expert, but shows off a little bit of your personality so people can actually see who you are. Now, that tip kind of bleeds in to the second tip, which is to utilize video marketing. Now, like I was talking about in uh, the form of blogging, you could start a video channel on your YouTube channel or whatever, post that to your website and use that as your continuous uh, stream of content. But if you're already blogging, podcasting, doing something else like that, you need to consider adding in video to the mix. Video marketing is more important than ever and Facebook is giving uh, favorites to videos and showing them obviously a lot more in people's news feeds and if that wasn't enough, YouTube is the second biggest search engine on the planet. So people are searching for videos and the more you can get comfortable in front of the camera creating content, the better. So tip number three is have a website with some solid professional photography. Now, it doesn't cost a lot to get a professional photographer to take some shots, uh, but you know anywhere you could spend from $100 to $300, even more if you were getting a little crazy, but you don't have to spend a lot, but those professional headshots go so far in their ability to convince people who come across you that, wow, this person is a professional, they took the time and effort to do this, uh, they actually look like they know what they're doing, and again, it just establishes you, it makes you stand out from so many other marketers that are online. Now, having a personal website is optional at this point. It is something you should do if you want to build a personal brand and if you have a blog that can already be your personal website. But again, these photos, regardless of whether or not you're using them in your content, on your website, as your profile pictures, in your social media, or any of these other places, the professionalism will go a long, long way, all right? So the third thing, I'm sorry, the fourth thing you need to do is develop some kind of brand storybook. And I actually don't have one of these personally for myself. I've just developed my own sense of style over time. But what you can do is if you don't have any brand style, colors, fonts, and things like that, is just get a document together and start collecting. Start to search for color combinations and font combinations that not only you like, but that complement the brand you're trying to build. Now what you wanna do is save those colors and those fonts into some document where you can always refer back to it. And then when you're creating content, your website, blog, whatever, you refer back to this storybook and you can use uh, the colors and fonts again and again so it's consistent. And this is important because when people discover you in different places online, they want to feel like it's the same person and they're not going to get confused if you've got you know, one color over here and a bunch of colors over here and then different fonts and different photos. You want to keep it all really consistent and doing this helps you do that. 
Now, the fifth and final thing you want to do to develop a strong personal brand is connect with other influencers and people in your industry. Now, this can be as simple as getting them to do interviews on your own show, doing interviews on their show, uh, participating in summits, or even getting featured in publications like HubSpot, Entrepreneur, Inc., Forbes, and those places. And why this is important is because when other people see you shoulder to shoulder with the top names in the industry, you're building that personal brand. You're building yourself up as the person and I mean, a person who collaborates with, works with, and uh, is in communication with some of the top people in your industry. So just to recap some of what we talked about today, you want to start a blog so you're creating content on a consistent basis. You want to utilize video marketing, so something like this. Number three is get some professional photos for your website, your content, and all of that stuff. Uh, number four is to get a story brand or brand storybook growing so you can put your colors, fonts, everything that you like and that makes sense for your brand in one place and use that. And the fifth and final step was to connect and work with influencers in your space so you can not only ride on their coattails but establish yourself even more as an expert. So I hope this episode of Laptop Empires has been helpful to you. And in the near future, in the Laptop Empire Lab, my premium community, we're going to be releasing a personal branding secrets course that goes even into more depth about this. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click on the link below the video. But otherwise, I will see you in the next video.